Alright everyone, hello, what is up, the Loganators here, and welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday video. Today we're not taking a look at After Effects, but rather Handbrake. Handbrake, for those who don't know, is a video transcoder that was originally developed in 2003 to make getting film off of DVDs and onto uh, digital storage devices much, much easier. So we're going to be taking a look on how to use it. This is available for Mac, Linux, and Windows, so pretty much everyone should have it, unless you have some very unique operating system. But anyways, let's get started. So when you first open up Handbrake, you're first gonna be greeted by a source selection. Now, I usually just use Handbrake to compress my videos, which is why you guys should have it. If you have After Effects and you're rendering videos on that, it's usually a good idea to have something like Handbrake sitting around. So the first thing to do is go to File and select the video that you want to uh, compress or transcode. So we're gonna, um, select just this comp1.mov which was rendered straight from After Effects and you can see I don't want it to be 277 gigabytes so that's why Handbrake is so important plus I'd like to make it an mp4 in the meantime so it's a win-win we'll open this up and all it has to do is uh, take a few seconds to uh, scan the source so there we go this is as you can see uh, yesterday's War Thunder video so that's pretty cool um, this resolution is 1440p, so we're going to go over to the web. This is uh, Vimeo or YouTube, 1442 or 2.5k. There you go. And obviously, if you have a different resolution, different frame rate, um, you can try these different options. All right, we'll go to chapters. We'll deselect chapters. Audio, make sure you put the quality to like as much as you can because um, when it's just at the default um, 5 quality, then it's not going to sound too great. So make sure it's at 10. Video, I usually like to bring this down to 5. The higher you go, the faster it's going to compress, but also the worse your quality is going to be. I usually have the best of luck uh, around 5. So it's not too fast, um, it, it's not too slow, but it's also a good um, quality to um, com uh, compress at. Uh, next up, we're going to go to dimensions, make sure everything is okay. This is not okay. We need to change this. It's trying to cut away two pixels at the bottom, so we'll get rid of that. And uh, these dimensions look good. All right, summary. I don't want it to mess with my uh, audio visual timeline, so I'm going to deselect that. Web optimize makes sense. Okay. We're going to browse, and we can just save this to the desktop. We can call it whatever we want. So we'll call it War Thunder Video, just because it is. There we go, we save it. And then all you gotta do is hit start and code and it will begin. Now I'm actually gonna stop it, there we go, because when you do, do use Handbrake, um, it eats up a ton of CPU. Your CPU is most likely gonna be maxed out when you do this. So make sure you uh, try and time it so you compress these things overnight. Um, that's what uh, usually helps for me, just getting it done overnight. Um, what else? You can also uh, add a queue too, so if there's multiple videos you need compressed, like maybe you have one really long recording that you just need split up into different sections, Handbrake is really good for that. So you can go to like the seconds and you can select, oh I want it to be from the 10 minute mark all the way to the uh, 12 minute mark. Alright, you can click start and code and then you can just change it back to, oh I need a 9 minute clip, uh, not a clip from 9 minutes all the way to a clip from uh, 10 minutes, so there you go. And then you can just add that to Q and it's going to um, immediately start that compression right after the original one was finished. So uh, there you go guys, that's a basic summary of Handbrake, uh, that's how you use it. It's uh, not too hard, there's not too much to go with it. There's a few, uh, there's a few advanced settings too that you can use. Um, I mean the presets is obviously a lot just so you can have um, the most support as you possibly can, I guess. So uh, there you go, guys. That's how you use Handbrake, a really simplified, dumbed-down explanation. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe so I know you guys are really enjoying these videos and you want to see more tutorials put onto the channel. Uh, but with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.